Thank you for joining us for On Camera Tuesday. Today I have with us Janice Glover, who is one of our webmasters here at Televox. Thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Great. Uh, we're here to talk about your website. You know, we stress a lot of importance on keeping your website updated and interesting to your users. So I thought it'd be great to have you here to give some tips to our users um, on what they can do to freshen up their site and um, you know the best way to interact with a webmaster uh, to get their site updated. Um, so I know that we have a lot of people that um, call us or email us and they're, they're not really sure what they want to do. They're not specific about what they want to change. They just know it's important to kind of freshen up their site and add updates to it. So what are some of the things that you recommend? Well, the first thing I would recommend is to add Google Analytics to their website. Google Analytics will allow you to know exactly what people are looking at on your website. That information is vital to know what you're going to change. Um, Google Analytics will let you know what people are searching for when they're trying to find you. It'll allow you to also know uh, where they're coming from, whether they're coming from a mobile device or a computer. And that can allow you to know whether or not to target a mobile device or a mobile website. Um, it can allow you to know whether or not you need to focus on certain pages of the website if they're coming in through your home page or the contact us page or if they're coming from another website or if they're just finding you on the internet just by typing in your name. That sort of information is very important whenever you're looking to modify any information on your website. Um, that's really good information to have because it is so important with giving you that insight and in what's going on with your website. And I just wanted to add to that and say, you know, one thing that you can do even before you go that far is just maybe take a look at your website with a fresh set of eyes. Um, pretend you're a visitor to your website and go to your home page. Is what differentiates you or what makes you special or different from the other people that are um, competing with you in your market, is that clear? from a, a landing page on your site, whether it's the home page or from other entry points as well. Um, you know, the next thing I was going to talk about is, um, was about when people are just curious of how their site is performing, and you kind of touched on Google Analytics um, already, um, but, you know, what kind of tips could you give for um, what to really look at in Google Analytics as far as you know, them being able to evaluate, evaluate whether their site's performing well? Well, to determine if your site's performing well, you shouldn't just look at the numbers. You should see where people are coming in from and see where they're also leaving. If they're not staying on a page very long, you might want to look at that page and reevaluate where or why they're leaving. If it doesn't have enough content, if the content's not good enough, um, or if the content's just not interesting. Um, it could be that you have old pictures on the site or the pictures take too long to load. You can look at several different things in Google Analytics. Um, I've touched on the fact that a mobile site, um, if they're coming in from a mobile device and it takes too long to load the page, they may just not be interested in it. Good. Um, okay, so let's say they found a page that they they're wanting to kind of freshen up and, and put new content on. Um, so they want to add some new information to it. Um, they want to add some new pictures. What's the best way for someone to really kind of package that up and, and send it to you to make sure it gets on their site? Well, the easiest way to contact web support is through email. You should package your email or write your email uh, to web support at televox.com. Make sure that you include your website's address and any instructions that you want to include about it. That would be like if you have a picture, make sure you tell us where you want the picture to go on the website. Um, exactly, you know, if you want the picture to be big, little, small, round, square. We need to know instructions. Otherwise, we're just going to interpret it as you want a picture on the website. We're really good at following instructions, but we need instructions from you to follow. Um, are there any more tips or anything that um, you could provide with our audience? Yes, I have um, some words of advice for anyone that um, has a website. Uh, the five W's are very important when it comes to your website. That is, who are you targeting? Where are you located? What treatments do you provide? When are you open? And why should they choose you? Make sure that your website answers all of these questions and even the age of how do they contact you. 
make sure that H is on every single page. Um, that's an excellent point. So things like that seem so painfully obvious, but it's amazing sometimes how that can get overlooked when people just um, start that journey with their website. So I, I think that's really great that you provided that information. Thank you again for coming on On Camera Tuesday. Once again, this is Jan Denise Glover, um, one of our webmasters here at Televox.